People got to understand that we, when you went to travel down south, like when we traveled to see our families, uh, you had to go to a colors only restroom. You couldn't go into uh, the restroom where white folks use. You couldn't even pee together, less, much less eat together. So this anger was being built up, this tremendous amount of police brutality. Rodney King uh, was just a slither in the dark compared to the, uh, the kind of brutality that was operational in urban America concerning blacks and, and policemen. Those young men that uh, in the battlegrounds in, in Vietnam probably would have been the young men marching for humane treatment in America if there had not been a war. Black soldiers died at such a great rate in Vietnam that the front lines were called Soulville. In the first couple of years of the war, blacks accounted for up to 22% of American combat casualties, when in effect there were only 11% of the entire American population, which means blacks were paying a double price in Vietnam in those first two or three years. We used to say that on the front lines, Uncle Sam's an equal opportunity employer if nowhere else. <laughs> 